Catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of September 7. A 31-year-old lawsuit filed on behalf of students in the state's poorest school districts came roaring back to the Texas Supreme Court this week. At issue is how the state funds education. Property poor school districts levy taxes at a higher rate, receive less funding, and have higher needs. The arguments before the court this week challenged the state's funding formula. That lets rich school districts spend $1,100 more on each student than poor districts, or $27,450 per classroom. What if you could protect the planet and save money without leaving your front yard? The city's pay-as-you-throw program will let you add a free green cart to send organic waste back to nature, that's grass clippings, tree trimmings, leaves, and other compostable goodies. And you can cut your trash bill if you go further by putting more in the blue recycling cart and send less to the landfill in a smaller brown garbage cart. We come to you. And of course, pay-as-you-throw is our latest model that follows our recycling and resource recovery plan. In its obituary for civil rights leader Julian Bond, the New York Times called him a persistent opponent of the stubborn remnants of white supremacy. While Bond was a legendary figure beginning in the 1960s, young people may have no idea who he is. Watch high school senior Kayla Wilson interview black history professor Fred Williams to learn why millennials should care about Julian Bond and how his life's work relates to Black Lives Matter. What do you think is the most important thing from what he's done in his lifetime that um, like we should um, learn from? What do you think? His courage. His courage? His courage, his determination, and his commitment to what's right. At a recent forum, Jorge Montiel of Cops Metro examined the business of private prisons, which are being used in Texas and other states to detain thousands of immigrants. Montiel found that the companies who built the prison spent millions of dollars lobbying state and federal lawmakers. And Congress passed a law requiring Immigration and Customs Enforcement, also known as ICE, to keep 34,000 detention beds available under the Immigration Detention Quota. The private prison companies are funded by ICE and ultimately taxpayers foot the bill. We're telling ICE, we're giving them money and we're telling them you must have this many beds. And in some instances, congressmen are telling them you must fill them. Go to nowcastsa.com where you can. Find more details on the city's pay-as-you-throw recycling program. Follow the private prison money trail. Get the latest developments in the Texas school finance case. And learn why millennials should care about Julian Bond. Thanks for watching The Edge.